Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the Product Specialist with American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you about the 2017 Sport Trek 327 VIK. This particular model is in the brownstone interior. I love this floor plan. It's a great bunk model. It offers excellent room and space here uh, in the middle for any kind of entertainment for parents and great space in the back as well. Let's go ahead and start off on the kitchen. One of the things you love to see in a travel trailer is this right here. Nice big pantry right off to the side of your kitchen. You're gonna have a lot of people in here. If you're bringing kids or friends, you're gonna want a lot of food. The pantry, of course, allows you to store that. Also, because you have dual opposing slides here, not only does it make this space nice and open, but it also allows for a center island. The center island uh, gives you great prep space, especially with the sink top cover right here. High rise kitchen faucet makes it nice and easy to do dishes. This is a pull out faucet there. You can see the undermount stainless steel uh, double bowl. And again, these bowls are nice and deep. A lot of times manufacturers put in these shallow bowls that aren't that don't work very well. Not the case here. They are nice and deep so they are very usable. Also to the sides this is kind of cool. Both the sides here actually open up. You can see you have additional storage there uh, in the sides of the island. Again just fully utilizing the space. And then of course you also have storage underneath. You can see that right there. Great spot for a trash can. You have a fold down uh, drawer right here as well as three additional full extension ball bearing drawers there. Across the way here, you have a little more space. You will notice a couple things right up top. You have an LED light, which makes it nice and bright and also an electrical outlet. So if you wanna plug in a coffee maker, great place to do it right over here. Three burner cooktop there. And if you take a look underneath, you do have an oven in case you wanna do some baking and a nice deep drawer below that, which is perfect for your pots and pans. Also off to the side, you will see some additional storage there and a little bit more right here up above. Microwave there as well. And then your fully functional hood with the light and fan. Window here does let in some natural light during the day. And moving over, you get into the Norcold fridge freezer combo. You can see you have plenty of space there. Uh, I like the Norcold, it's built here in the US. You will also notice that this um, does run off both propane and electric, also has automatic switch over, and the thermostat's right on the outside too, so it is quite easy to get to. Then right over here, you kind of have uh, like a, almost like a built-in hutch, which is nice, some extra uh, countertop space right up top. You do see you have a plug-in, so again, if you need to plug anything in, you can do that there. LED light, good storage right up top here. You can see that. Uh, also, something that's really cool that you'll see in almost every sport track is this right here. It's what they call the tech box. Again, fully utilizing your uh, space, your cabinet space, you open this up. It says all your controls for your slides, your awnings, everything's tucked away, so it's not sticking out. It gives it a great look. You'll also notice you have electrical outlet and USB ports up there. So if you need to plug in your cell phone, you can just set it right in this cabinet, plug it in, and it doesn't clutter up your countertop space. Now, if you take a look right down below, you will see both of these drop open for easy access to this storage here. Then underneath, you do have some extra cabinet space right there. And then same thing, extra storage space down below. So great storage space throughout in the kitchen of the 327. Now with all this food, you're gonna need a place to eat. And that's not an issue either. Right here is your, uh, your dinette. One of the cool things about Sport Trek is all their cushions are made in house. So all this is a, uh, a nice, thicker density foam so it doesn't break down nearly as quickly. And you'll also see that the cushions are reversible. So on this side, we have more of the leather look, which is great, especially if the kids are eating here. If they spill on this, it's nice and easy to clean up. Maybe they come back from the beach. You don't have to worry about it getting wet. And then over here, it shows the brownstone interior. That's the cloth side. So you can kind of mix and match however you desire. Uh, but again, you know, it just gives you that versatility. Big windows up top to let in a lot of natural light. The dinette itself does drop down into a table, or the table drops down into a bed rather. So if you do want a bed, all you have to do is take the legs out right here, the table sits on these rails, take your cushions, put them on top, and that gives you additional sleeping space. One of the great things about having a dinette over a freestanding is that it gives you extra storage, and it makes it even better when the storage is easy to access. So on one side right here, you have a pull-out drawer, then on the other side, you have a door you can open up. So it makes that uh, storage there easy to get to. 
As you move over a little further, you get into the theater seating. So this is the, the best seat in the house. This is where on a rainy day or late at night you want to kick back and relax. This is where you can do it. Both of these do recline. You see you have cup holders here in the center. Um, right in the middle here, you do have a little bit of extra storage where you can put remotes. And then straight across is the TV. So you have a great shot to that TV. Again, just you know helps you kick back and relax after a long day, let you unwind. Right up top here, you can see some additional storage, kind of decorative glass on there. It gives it a cool look. Uh, LED lights throughout. That's uh, something important to note. The LED lights use a fraction of the power and don't put out near the heat. Right over here, this is kind of a cool touch too that they, they do include. This is a picture frame. So, you know, your first camping trip, you want to take a picture, put it in there for memories. Uh, just a nice little touch. Then as I mentioned, right across in the theater seating, this is your entertainment center. You have your TV right here, uh, DVD player right down below. That is a radio CD and DVD player. And that, of course, is hooked up to the TV. Storage here up top. Again, that nice decorative glass there. And then down below is your fireplace. Now the fireplace uh, is not only very uh, aesthetically pleasing, but it's also very functional. Because you can turn this on, it's a big space heater. Seeing as how you'll be sitting right over here, you'll definitely feel it. It'll help warm you up, take the chill off, and that runs off electric rather than propane. So if you have shore power, that is essentially free heat. Uh, now this camper does run on 30 amp service, so what you will notice, right, right here, right in between your, um, uh, your TV and your fireplace is a little switch, so you can flip back and forth between the microwave and fireplace depending on what you want to run, uh, but that is great because it helps keep it on that 30 amp service. As you come back into the bunk room here, um, you notice, you know, again, you do have a lot of room, a lot of space because you have the slide out right over here. On this side, you have your two bunks, Teddy Bear Bunk Series, nice and soft. You'll see the top bunk is extremely wide, which is great. Gives you a lot of space here. Uh, the bottom one, not quite as wide, but that's because your outside kitchen is around the other side of the wall there. But it's still the same length, and so you still have good room. Uh, LED light on both top and bottom. Then you'll notice you do have some additional storage right here, which is nice. Open this guy up, and you see a little cubby hole right over there. Now as you come around to the slide outside, oh, it is worth noting, nice big window behind me, electrical outlet right down here. Um, but if you take a look at the slide, this is your other two bunks. So uh, this one right here, this is pretty cool. This will be your jackknife sofa. The thing I like about a jackknife is this. Take a look at all the storage you get underneath there. Great storage. Currently the table is stored under there. If you see these two holes, that's what that is for. The legs of the table can go right there. You put a table, gives you an extra space for the kids. So if they wanna eat back here, if they wanna play a game, card game, board game, whatever it may be, they have the space to go ahead and entertain themselves. But the jackknife sofa does drop down into a bed for that additional sleeping space. And then this bunk drops down too. And again, you can see how wide this bunk is. It's a nice wide bunk. A lot of times you get the narrow one up top, not the case here. Uh, so it is great for sleeping. Now, last thing, one of the things I love about the 327 is this right here. You can see you have space for clothes. You have the hanging rod up top. You can see you have the shelves right down there below. Plenty of space for clothes here. Also, if the kids want to watch TV, you do have a TV backer uh, or the, uh, right here built into the wall so you know where to go ahead and mount the TV. Up top are your uh, plug-ins for that so the kids can watch TV before bed. The thing I like about this location is because it's on the wall, everyone can watch it. All four bunks are able to watch the TV. It's not like your standard configuration where, you know, this side can, the other side can't. So that's pretty cool there. Uh, last thing I want to mention, it does have an actual door coming into the bunk room, which is pretty cool. Helps give that extra privacy, a little bit more of a noise barrier in case you want to stay up a little later when the kids go to bed. But all right, folks, that wraps it up for the back half. Let's head up front. We'll take a look at the bathroom and bedroom. The bathroom of the 327 features a foot flush porcelain toilet with plenty of leg room all the way around. Right across from that, you have an excellent linen closet. You can see there a ton of space for towels and everything else that you want to store in your bathroom. Right over in the corner is your neo-angle shower. You see you have shelves, a hand wand there, and the doors are in roller tracks, so when you do open it up, it'll ensure that all the water just goes right down into the shower pan instead of all over the floor. Then right over here is your mirrored medicine cabinet. You have storage right behind that. Uh, you have countertop here, of course, your sink top and vanity there, and underneath you will see you have additional storage. 
The bedroom of the 327 features a king size bed. Now it is a little bit shorter than standard to give you a full walk around room here. You can see how much room you have to walk through. But what they do is they give you this foam piece right up top. So if you do want that extra length, you just pull the bed down a little, put that foam piece at the head of the bed where your pillow will go. That gives you your full 60 by 80 queen bed. So definitely a very innovative idea. You'll see the headboard up top there as well. And on both sides, you have shelving. It's actually hidden behind the wardrobes, which is pretty great. You'll see you have an electrical outlet on this side. The other side has an electrical outlet as well as two USB ports. So it's perfect for charging cell phones. If you have a CPAP machine, you can tuck it back in there too. You have storage up top here and you have your wardrobe storage on the side. Nice big hanging rod going across, plenty of room going down uh, for any clothes you wanna hang. Little shelf space below that, so if you want a glass of water or something at night, uh, you, that, that's not a problem. You have windows on both sides there, which is great, lets in a lot of light, nice cross breeze. You see you have a vent here up top as well. Uh, and then right up here is your TV backer. So uh, that is built into the wall, so you know exactly where to mount the TV there. Again, hookups right up top. So if you want a TV in the bedroom before night, that is where it would go. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Sport Trek 327 VIK. This is a great floor plan, excellent bunk model. You have a big bunk room in the back. You have the uh, wardrobe back there for the kids, a hanging space, which you don't see in a lot of models. Theater seating, outside kitchen. This is just one you don't want to miss out on. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.